In June, some of the world's top solar researchers gathered for a conference in Seattle. Their technology review caught up with Stuart Wenham, the CTO of SunTech Power, one of the world's largest solar panel makers. He described a new process the company has developed that could significantly cut the cost of solar power. The company will announce a new product based on the process in coming weeks. For many years, there's been two types of silicon wafer that have dominated use in commercial application. There's been a very high quality type of silicon wafer that's a single crystal of silicon produced by a technique called a Chakrowski method. This silicon is produced from molten silicon by using a seeding technique that allows the silicon ingot to form as a single crystal of silicon. This is very expensive silicon, but it's also very high quality and produces high efficiency solar cells. There is then a second type of silicon wafer produced by a casting approach. It's a much cheaper approach where we take a mould and the molten silicon is pretty much just let gradually cool and as it crystallises it forms individual randomly oriented crystals of silicon. It's consequently a lot cheaper to produce but it's also lower in quality. To give you an idea, the single crystal silicon from the Chakrowski method typically produces solar cells that are about 10% higher in performance than the lower cost multi-crystalline silicon. Just recently, a breakthrough involves the use of casting processes, but in a way where we've learned how to seed the crystal growth in a way that we predominantly produce single crystal silicon from the casting technique. This is a particularly important breakthrough because it allows the production of silicon wafers of similar or even higher quality than achieved through the normal Chakrowski method, but with the very low cost achieved from casting processes. So if we translate that in terms of the uh, performance and cost of solar panels, it means that we'll be able to produce them now with at least as high, if not higher, efficiency than currently achieved from the single crystal silicon, but at the same time the low costs from the casting process, which should give us something like 10 to 20% reduction in cost in dollars per watt.